Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Ibrahim here, and I'll be teaching you how to create this cool glowing curve effect in Photoshop. So let's begin. Let's start a new doc. Create a new document here, and I'll leave this as default. First thing is we'll add a blue background, which would really stand this type of curve effect here. I'll be using a light blue to a little bit dark blue. You can take the color codes. That's for the light, the dark one is the one on the left side and the one on your right side, that doesn't really matter if you reverse it. Okay, once you've got those, make sure you have linear and just click and drag from this side to that side. Basically, I actually want the blue on this side, so let's just do that. Okay, once you have that done, let's make a new layer. And first of all, we'll create a curve. So using my pen tool again, make sure you have paths selected on top. Just click and drag inward and one drag right here. There we go. Okay, the first thing you need to do is after making a curve or before making a curve, go to your brush, right click, and make sure your hardness is way up to 100% and your size is 1 pixel, or you could make it like around 3 pixels just to check. Okay, I think that's better. Now switch back to your pen tool, right click on your document and select stroke path. Once you have that done, make sure you have brush and your tool selected and stimulate pressure checked. Click on OK after that. What exactly we need here is a soft edge in the corner and a soft edge in the bottom here. If you check, we have both pointed edges. So let's undo that. It's not your curve, okay? And go back to your brush, hit F5 to open up your brush settings. Make sure you have shape dynamics checked and size jitter should be 0%, okay? And now switch back to your pen tool and do the same option again. Right click, stroke path, make sure stimulate pressure is checked, okay? Now, if you see, you have got a soft edge and at the bottom, soft edge. All the end points have a soft fade off. Okay, make sure you don't have your path deselected. So let's save this path by coming back to your paths here. If you have that not on your layers palette there, you come back to window and select paths. Okay, we're going to save this path. So to do that is just double click on the paths and just call this my curve for instance. Okay, and let's switch back to our layers. Now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to continue my curve here. So click on the last point again and just let's make let's complete this curve it's best to just take a circle of it okay once you've done that let's right click on your document again and select make selection so and make sure you have feather zero pixels okay once you have that with your new layer let's switch to our gradient tool here and i'll be using white to transparency so select white to transparency and just click from this side here straight inward make sure you don't have the glow way up to on that side because if you see you see a cut mark here so let's click from this side and just drag inwards once you have that done let's deselect ctrl d to deselect you see this nice shine effect here from the curve okay and let's switch change the blending mode of this to overlay so it looks like it's merging with the background color here okay once you have that done let's type in some text on the same path so what I'm gonna do is going back to my paths I'm gonna come back to layers select my text tool and just click anywhere here on the curve so one click on this side make sure you type on the other side so to do that what you do is hold on your alt and just drag in let's just type click on that again here we go hold on your control there you go, hold on control and just click and drag straight inwards ok once you have that done let's type in something let's type in shiny this shiny curve, I think it's really two oops, it's two together here, let's separate them, hold on your alt, make sure you have your text select, hold on your alt and click on your right arrow to make them a bit far and let's lower the size here a bit 
okay I'm gonna make this word curve not that thick so I'm just gonna lower the size here okay the font so once you've done that let's hit escape uh, just to deselect our parts okay now that doesn't really matter let's go back to our shining this text blending option so just double click on the side here and I'm gonna add a white to draw, white white to let's say silver color text here let's take something like that and I'm gonna add a drop shadow make sure you have it not really strong drop shadow so just I'm gonna add a light shadow you can see there it's just completely light let's even lower that opacity a bit more and you could even add something like a bit of a glow and let's select overlay and maybe somewhere around 40 pixels and this around 5 not really strong we don't want that very hard so just just soft there we go ok and once you press on that click on ok and now what you're gonna do is come back to your curves which is this right here yeah. I'm gonna just move this text a bit up here not to touch the curve completely make sure you don't have shadow when touching ok I think that's that's a bit fine yeah. there you go just down. ok come back to your curves and go back to its blending options and I'll add a glow for that too so make sure you have this as dodge around 40% opacity 5% for the size lower here we go ok once you have that done I'm going to duplicate our shine text uh, leaving the shine text I'm going to select the curve and the shine here which you can see the one I'm moving ok I'm going to control G on that to make it a group I'm going to call this shine underscore curve so that you know it's on the text and it's seen here ok let's duplicate this by right clicking clicking on duplicate group ok it's going to be really bright doesn't matter fix that in a moment ok control T to transform make sure you have this plus point somewhere set on the end of your text here and I'm going to make a turn ok hit enter and we'll do that again on the above angle so control T drag that right here and let's turn this somewhere on that side ok once you have that done make sure you have your original one set in the last here and let's come back to our shining curve here switch to my brush tool right click I'm gonna add a soft big brush here can't see that because I'm on a group you can't even brush on a group so I'm gonna make a mask for that so let's sh make sure you have that group selected click on your mask there you go make sure you have it completely soft hardness and mode normal and let's just brush on this side here to remove it's not exactly do that, yeah. Somewhere on the side to remove the extra glow. Let's do that right for this. What I'm gonna do is lower the opacity, make the size a bit bigger, hold on your alt and right click and move rightwards and leftwards reduces and increases the size of your brush up and down makes the hardness and softness. If you never know the shortcut, make sure you keep it in mind, it's very helpful. Okay, and let's just give a click here. Oops, that's a lot. Just a slight one. Lower the fill. Okay. There you go. And let's lower the opacity of this too. A bit lower. Just, you know, we were looking for a simple shine on that side. Okay. Once you've done that, what I'm going to do is make a new layer right below all of them. Just above your background. Make sure it's above your background. And switch back to my pen tool. And I'm going to draw another path here with the same line just right like that exactly ok now I'm going to back to my brush tool and let's go back to all the default brush here we have made a lot of changes so just click on any of the top brushes here make your hardness away up to 100% would be good and make this size somewhere make sure you have opacity full flow full and let's make the size somewhere around yeah I think 7, 6 pixels is good hit on F5 to open up your brush settings shape dynamics yep size jitter way up to 100% scattering 1000% and make sure you come to your brush brush 
tip shape here and give a lot of spacing around 100 would be good and let's close this now go back to your pen tool right click with that part still there click on stroke path and make sure you have stimulate pressure check brush as the tool and click on ok there you go once you have that done let's control let's hit escape twice to remove the path you don't want to save that even and let's add a glow for those bubbles there double click go back to auto glow and i think i'll use dodge for this too around 40 percent and i think 10 would be good there we go i think that's perfect let's call this spots anything okay there we go i hope you learned something from this and this is a really cool shining text effect you could even add some sparks on the sides but i've got really ready brushes here so you can just do that really quick it's a simple small spark here we go and let's just drag that somewhere on the side put it on the any part of my texture transform that a bit something like that you can spark that one here one a really small one there you go i hope you learned something from this and i hope you found this really interesting which is completely different idea here Thank you for watching and make sure you visit my other tutorials on Photoshop. See you later.